everyone, it's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library and tomorrow is International Dot Day. So I have some cool dot um, patterns on my shirt. I have some uh, creative memories, um, hole punches with circles. So there are four different uh, size circles that actually nest together. I have a bunch of so you can see all of this negative these negative space circles from where I punched out so you could do art uh, using those uh, leftovers I also have all of these wonderful circles and stuff that I punched out so I want you to, um, I'm going to show you just some fun art that we can do with, um, with circles and with negative space circles. So what you need is a, uh, a glue stick. It uh, doesn't matter what. You do not have to have hole punches, but if you have circle hole punches, they're really fun. But you can always trace circles, uh, trace a cup, trace a bowl, uh, trace more than one, so that you get several different sizes of circles to play with. They can be big, they can be small. These are all manageable small sizes. They're smaller than my hand. Um, uh, like, you know, size of like a nickel, a dime, uh, a quarter and a half dollar. Uh, so th about that size. So they're fun to play with, but you could do uh, whatever you want to cut out your circles. And you don't even have to cut out your circles. You could just trace your circles. But I want you to see... Uh, cool patterns. Okay, so when I said that these circles nested, that means they are able to stack on top of each other um, and they all fit exactly the same. So I'm going to start with the largest circle. Here's a blue one um, and I'm going to put the next size circle down so that you can see. And it's about a quarter of an inch uh, border around okay so it nests right inside at a quarter of an inch okay so that's one one option then I could take that same size circle so let's do this okay so this is the same size circle and then I'm gonna put the next size circle inside that one uh, and let's do, let's do it all, this one, all the same colors, okay, so that you can see them, because it's cool to play with color patterns, too. Okay, so now I have that like that, okay? Now I'm going to take this circle, and I'm going to do it here, okay? So same size, and I'm going to put that one right there, and then... I'm going to look oop, for the smallest circle. I'm going to put a little dot in the middle. And now I have the smallest circle. Okay. And then if I do the same thing, small circle, you can see the four sizes. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So, and I have offsetting patterns. Um, so, now, I'm going to do another one, okay? So now I'm going to nest them all together. So let's start with the largest again. So I'm just going to put those right there. Um, and we're just going to play with patterns. And uh, let's see. Okay, so let's try the purple and gold. Okay, so then... I'm going to do the next size down in purple, okay, like this. So see how it's going to nest right on there. It is a quarter of an inch again, and then I'm going to go all the way over here to the yellow. Oh, bummer. Oh, I don't have a yellow. So guess what? Oh, I can make a yellow. I can make a yellow one that will fit in the center on here, let's do that, okay, a 
and there's, uh, ooh, I like that. That would be fun to play with. Uh, so another kind of thing. So uh, right here, I'm gonna put a little circle right here and nest it right there. So I love the layered look. Okay, so look at this. Okay, so there are the four circles from just these templates, which all nest together, or all a quarter of an inch. And then I have the pattern. Okay, so there's that. So that's each of the ones, each of the circles stepping down, getting smaller. Okay, uh, you could, you could do it so that, okay, so let's try the big circle, and then I'm gonna do the medium circle, okay? Two circles down. And then I get like, uh, I get like a quarter of an inch. Or this is, so this is probably like an eighth of an inch. This is like a quarter of an inch, maybe. Or, yeah. This is a quarter of an inch. Okay, so so now I have a larger space. So if I used this one, let's see, if I use this, and then I put the smallest one down. Do I have the smallest one? Oh, again, I do not. So I'm gonna make another one. There we go. And I'm gonna put that one right in the center. And then I get another option okay another another um spacing so again <laughs> this one looks more like an egg uh kind of like so uh like a cracked egg so that gives me another option to play with then you can start just creating new color options. And how does, let's see, if we put, uh, let's do some orange. Oh, I got some cool blue. Okay, so if I do, I'm gonna do, let's see, let's do one, two, three. Uh, I guess I only have three. Okay, so we'll do three. And I'm gonna do three different colors in the center and see like Joseph Albers, uh, how colors look differently together. So if I put purple on here, purple on the orange, and uh, let's see, light blue, say, on the orange. And then yellow on the orange. Does it look different? Well, I don't know. I kind of think the orange on the yellow looks darker than the orange on that underneath a little bit. But you can play with different colors and how they look different. Well, what if I did, what if I did yellow? Uh, let's do it on these. So what if I did yellow, off-white, oops, purple, just play with them, and blue, okay? Is that all the color blues that I have? I think it is. So, what does it look like when I place the same color dot? Okay, I'm gonna use the, these dots. What does it look like when I put four dots, the same four dots, on the blue, the purple, the yellow, and that, and let's do it on the orange too. So I've got five different bases. And do I have another one of those? Let's see if I do. I don't. So let's see if I can do that. 
I'm going to move that a little bit. All right, now, whoop, stuck, stuck in there. Okay, so now I have one of each color. Uh, so I'm going to put the blue right in the center, and this is one that I have the quarter of an inch. I'm going to put the same blue on the purple. And I'm going to put the blue on the off-white. I'm going to put the blue on the yellow. And I'm going to put the same blue on the orange. And look how different it looks. So this is kind of a Joseph Albers. He was an artist who worked with color patterns. And what how colors look different when we are looking at them. So let's see, oh, let's do, oh no, I don't have another one. Okay, so look, these all look different. Does the blue look lighter or darker when you're looking at it? Um, here, let's do, let's lower this down. This down so you can see it a little better. Oh, that's better. Doesn't matter. It cuts my head off. Okay, so the blue. So I would say the blue maybe looks different. It looks darker on here than it does on here. And I and it looks, I don't know, lighter. But I think it's kind of cool to have that line up. And then you can play with them. You could put them on to um, a postcard uh, and send a circle postcard. You could do it on a great big piece of artwork. Uh, you could play with negative space, okay? So the negative space or the circles with things cut out of them. Um, you could layer the circles just like I did here. Um, and you could just layer circles, like all these circles are so cool, and you could just collage them, and then decoupage them, or whatever. You could do it on ATC trading cards, which are super big at my library right now. We have a project, an ATC trading card project going on. Uh, my art journaling group has postcards that we swap and send to each other monthly. Um, if anyone's interested, you can um, you can email uh, me or contact me through uh, the library, Camden Public Library. Uh, if you want to join in on the fun, you can do this or start a project at your own library. So I hope you guys enjoy tomorrow. I'm going to do more activities with circles tomorrow. Uh, check it out. Uh, tune in to fun things that are happening at the library tomorrow all day for um, International uh, Dot Day, uh, inspired by the book The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Uh, you can find all kinds of information and fun things like that. Uh, hugs to you all. Happy creating. Miss Amy.